couldn't understand why some clubs stutter, some clubs fail, and other clubs succeed. I was confused. I thought, I don't know the answers. Maybe a good idea is to get everybody to talk to each other. And that will unleash the possibilities for, for Toastmasters, for the corporate clubs. Off you go. lady that started it. For her it was just a question of passion and we never actually thought that it would affect the corporate in the way that it has since. I think it, it broadens one's um, uh, appreciation of other people's differences. Uh, our organization is quite large so it's a really good market, a self-marketing tool for, for people to get their name out in the business. Leadership skills because in my current position at work I'm not in a leadership position so as a committee member I'm hoping to get those leadership um, skills in preparation for uh, hopefully a management CEO position within FMB. <laughs> uh, it also has sent a lot of positive messages to other offenders. Common values across, across the, the enterprise. Yeah, that people uh, can stand up in a, in a forum and do an impromptu speech. I mean, we sell services, we sell time, so if people can stand up and be comfortable in the forum, well, we can also probably make money out of it. You never know. To unlock the potential that I, I believe exists in, in just about everybody to become a competent communicator and through that a, a good leader. Staff who can learn leadership skills and I think there's, there's actually a whole package that corporate clubs buy when they buy into Toastmasters. We, we thought we were buying communication skills but we actually are buying life skills. Not to be afraid to do anything that I feel is right for me. And, and also business skills. And, and one of the reasons we won the contract was the way Renee presented to this big organization. Great way to meet single people. <laughs> we say you want to be a manager. Fantastic. Let's see how well you do. Number one, find yourself 20 customers, right? Number two, find yourself a committee, because you can't do this by yourself. You have to be a leader, right? Number three, you're not allowed to pay anybody. We're taking that out of your toolkit, your management toolkit. So now you have to lead. Now, run the club according to a scorecard, which by the way, you're not allowed to have any input in. We will give you the scorecard, and you have to run this, this club according to this scorecard that you have no input in. Does this sound familiar? <laughs> and then we see how they do. We give them training twice a year, come and learn how to do this, come and learn how to run a club. So we're teaching people to do something hard. So you're learning not only to give feedback effectively, but you're also learning how to receive feedback effectively. And also I'm very enthused by what Eric was saying today about the coaching aspect. Not only does it teach people how to give feedback, but also how to receive feedback. What's happening is you're learning how to coach. We are contemplating uh, opening a club uh, in Isando. While you're learning speaking skills, you learn other things as well. no stages and then the organization is not getting what it could get out of Toastmasters. We actually want management support, we want management buy-in. It's executive buy-in, without a doubt it's executive buy-in. The buy-in from the management, I think it helps a lot. Um, absolute commitment from senior management. Uh. The CEO is very strong behind this and he supports it incredibly visibly. You know, your own time is hard to give up and that would be the number one obstacle I would see. <laughs> to incorporate Toastmasters into your leadership development program, integrating Toastmasters and the leadership in Toastmasters within the company. The second thing they did was they put Toastmasters on the ERP system. It's been incorporated to the KPAs, but we also want to make sure that that person understands what their longer term career goal is so that we can guide them around which of the Toastmaster material they need to be looking at in the years ahead. People must be driven and they must know what they want. We believe that that enhances us as an organization. It's, it's been listed as mandatory for our salespeople to attend. We focus on the talent development, mm -hmm. 
which for me is an absolute wow. The club that we started in Soweto about five years ago, where we help their members to grow and develop, and what their current president, Lebuchang Sebukhodi, works at Standard Bank now because I met him through Toastmasters and was just so impressed with his passion and his willingness to learn that he then came into our business and we then offered him a job as a learning coordinator and I'm very pleased to say that just a year and a half later he's now gone in, on to be a facilitator in the business. So it's a very useful forum today to hear what other companies are doing. And that's business benefit. And, and I just wanted to say thank you for enlightening me to Toastmasters. You have moved into the 21st century. But uh, I'm happy. I'm happy. It's an eye opener for everybody.